Remember that boy everyone called a rabbit? His amazing change will shock you. Evan Hill, teased for his big front teeth, went from being laughed at to becoming super confident. How? This is what happened. Rabbit boy, rabbit boy, can't even close his mouth. The mean words echoed across the schoolyard, hitting Evan like sharp thorns. He stood frozen, his eyes wide with fear as a group of kids circled him, laughing. Jack, the school's biggest bully, pointed at Evan's front teeth in the middle of it all. Evan's mouth trembled. His teeth were too big, and he couldn't fully close his mouth. He wanted to run, hide, or disappear, but couldn't escape. The sea of mocking faces surrounded him. What's wrong, rabbit boy? Jack taunted, stepping closer. Cat got your tongue? Oh wait, you can't even keep your tongue in your mouth. The laughter grew louder, and Evan's face burned with shame. He had faced teasing for years, but this was different. This felt like a moment that would change everything for him. Just when Evan thought he would cry, a small voice broke through the laughter. Leave him alone, Jack. Everyone turned to look. It was Sarah, a quiet girl from Evan's class. She pushed through the circle and stood between Evan and Jack. Why should I? Jack sneered, but he seemed a bit surprised. Sarah stood tall, hands on her hips. Because, she stammered, then took a deep breath because Evan's going to be the star of the school talent show. The kids gasped. Evan's mouth dropped open in shock. A talent show? He didn't even know there was going to be one. Jack laughed, but it sounded less certain. Yeah, right. What's his talent? Eating carrots? Before Evan could react, Sarah grabbed his hand. You'll see, she said firmly, glaring at Jack. Then she started pulling Evan away from the crowd. As they hurried across the playground, Evan's mind raced. What just happened? And what was Sarah talking about? Sarah, Evan whispered, I don't have any talents. Sarah stopped and looked at him with determination. Everyone has a talent, Evan. We just need to find yours, and when we do, we'll show everyone you're more than just... She paused, then said gently, more than just your teeth. Evan felt a mix of fear and hope. But how? He asked softly. Sarah smiled, her eyes full of excitement. I have an idea, but first we need to go to the pet shop after school. Trust me, this is going to change everything. Evan felt like the school day was endless. His mind couldn't stop thinking about the talent show and Sarah's plans. When the final bell rang, Sarah was waiting for him at the school gate. Come on, she said, grabbing his hand. Let's go to the pet shop. When they reached Lee's furry friends, the local pet shop, a bell chimed as they entered, and an old man appeared from behind some dog food bags. Hello there, he said kindly. I'm Mr. Lee. How can I help you today? Sarah stepped forward. We'd like to see your rabbits, please. Mr. Lee smiled brightly. Ah, rabbit fans, follow me. He led them to a cozy area where fluffy rabbits hopped around. Evan's eyes widened as he watched them. Their noses twitched and their front teeth stuck out as they nibbled on carrots. They're like me, Evan whispered, touching his own teeth. Mr. Lee overheard him and smiled warmly. You know, he said, rabbits are pretty amazing. Those big teeth aren't just for show. They help rabbits in tough situations. Evan looked up, surprised. Really? Mr. Lee nodded. Yes. They use their teeth to eat tough plants and even defend themselves. Their teeth make them special. As Evan watched the rabbits, something shifted inside him. For the first time, he began to see his teeth as something unique, maybe even special. Suddenly, Sarah clapped her hands. I've got it, she said excitedly. For the talent show, we're going to do a presentation all about rabbits. You'll be the expert, and I'll be your helper. We'll show everyone how cool rabbits are and how cool you are too. Evan felt both excited and scared. But what if I mess up? What if they laugh at me? Mr. Lee put a hand on Evan's shoulder. Sometimes the bravest thing you can do is just be yourself. You might surprise yourself and everyone else too. Evan's life was about to change and it all started with a talent show he never expected to be part of. Over the next few weeks, Evan and Sarah worked hard on their presentation. They visited the pet shop every day after school, learning all they could about rabbits. Mr. Lee even let them borrow a friendly bunny named Hoppy for their act. The day of the talent show finally came and the school auditorium was full of students, teachers, and parents. Evan peeked out from behind the curtain, feeling his stomach flip. There were so many people. Next up, announced Miss Thompson. Please welcome Evan Hill and Sarah Chen. Evan froze. He couldn't move. But then Sarah gently grabbed his hand and whispered, we've got this. Feeling a bit calmer, Evan took a deep breath and walked onto the stage with her. The bright lights shined on them, and Evan could hear the crowd murmuring, but he focused on the act they had practiced. Sarah kicked things off. Ladies and gentlemen, she said dramatically, get ready for something amazing, the incredible rabbit boy. 
The crowd giggled a little, but Evan didn't mind. This was part of the plan. Evan and Sarah put on a great show for the next five minutes. With Hoppy, his pet rabbit by his side, Evan explained how rabbit teeth grow continuously and how rabbits use them. He also showed Hoppy's jumping skills, explaining how rabbits use their strong legs to escape danger. The audience was hooked. Even the bully, Jack, was leaning forward in his seat, paying close attention. As the act wrapped up, Sarah announced, And now, Rabbit Boy will show you a special talent. Evan took a deep breath. This was it. He picked up a large carrot and began carving it using only his front teeth. At first, the audience did not understand what the act was all about, but in a minute, Evan transformed the carrot into a little rabbit sculpture. The audience went wild, cheering and chanting Evan's name. He couldn't stop smiling. He had never felt so proud. After the show, Evan was surrounded by kids wanting to talk to him. Even Jack came over and said, That was cool, Evan. Sorry for being mean before. Evan's parents hugged him tight, tears in their eyes. We're so proud of you, his mom said. The next day, a local news reporter came to the school excited to interview Evan. Your act went viral, she said. People all over New Zealand are talking about Rabbit Boy. Evan was in shock. His story was on the news. People were calling him brave and inspiring. Then came some amazing news. Evan's parents sat him down and told him, a lot of people who saw your story want to help you. Help me? Evan asked, confused. His dad explained, they want to raise money so you can get your teeth fixed. And a famous orthodontist, Dr. Ronald Sluter, has offered to do it for free. Evan couldn't believe it. He had always wanted to fix his teeth, but never thought it was possible. Now, because of one brave act, his dream might come true. The next few months flew by. Evan met with Dr. Sluter, who explained how they would fix his teeth. It won't be easy, the doctor said. You'll need braces and it might hurt sometimes. But when we're done, your smile will be as strong as your spirit. Evan nodded. Thinking of Hoppy who faced challenges with courage, he said, I can do it. And he did. For two years, Evan wore braces. Sometimes they hurt and he got frustrated but never gave up. His friends, especially Sarah, cheered him on. Mr. Lee let him visit Hoppy whenever he needed a pick-me-up. Slowly but surely, Evan's teeth started to change. Finally, the big day came. Evan was getting his braces off. Sitting nervously in Dr. Sluter's chair, his heart pounded. Ready to see your new smile? Dr. Sluter asked with a smile. Evan nodded. The doctor removed the last bracket and Evan looked in the mirror. He gasped. It was still him, but with straight, even teeth. And in his eyes, he saw confidence shining through. What do you think? Dr. Sluter asked. Evan grinned, a big, beautiful grin. It's perfect, he said, jumping up to hug the doctor. Word of Evan's transformation spread fast. The same news station that covered his talent show wanted to do another story about him. This time, Evan proudly faced the cameras, showing off his new smile. Years passed, and this is how he looks now. Evan has grown into a confident young man. He still visited Mr. Lee's pet shop. And sometimes, when Evan looked in the mirror, he saw more than just his straight teeth. He saw the strength and kindness that had always been inside him. So, the next time you see someone who looks a little different, remember Evan's story. True beauty comes from the inside. Sometimes, what makes us different is what makes us amazing. Now, we'd love to hear from you. Have you ever felt different or been picked on? How did you handle it? Share your stories in the comments below, and let's spread some kindness and hope.